we got good news and bad, or bad news and good news. The bad news is the water in the muck bay, you know, there's about eight inches of water in it now, as opposed to the, uh, the tiny little bit when I was mucking out into it. Uh, but the good news is, is that, see on the wall, it's down from where it, it, where it was. And see the, the flow coming out of there, down into the decline. We've got our, uh, our two inch diaphragm just chugging away, pumping it up to the surface. We clocked it, and our time to, to fill a five gallon Homer bucket is like seven or eight seconds, not counting the, the roughly five gallons a minute at one of the fire hose connections up there. So that's giving us over 40 gallons a minute of dewatering force with the, the pump settled in to a cyclic rate like this. So it runs at a real high cyclic rate when it's first connected as it's pressurizing the line and it's just got you know 30 feet of fire hose to pressurize. Then it slows down as the, the line charges and then finally it settles into a rhythm. And you can see the uh, sort of bathtub ring on the ribs here, that we actually are starting to take the water down. This has been why we had, okay, that and some editing computer problems has been why there haven't been any videos in a while, because we've been fighting a plumber's nightmare. Yeah, I should have taken some video of any hill sketch of just trying to <laughs> tie that damn thing in. I wish I'd gotten video of the, the, the coupling blowout a week ago where we both took a mud bath. That was one of the, the less fun things I've hey, this done. Is a you know, that's a good point. We blew, you know, probably 100 gallons of chocolate milk out of there from when uh, that 100 year flood a couple years ago killed the, the pumps down at the 250 level. Yeah, there was a, a lot of fun stuff in there and a lot of clay and silt and dirt and drill cuttings. And it just wasn't a fun time to get sprayed with it. Uh, it coated. The, uh, the back of the Kubota coated some radios. That's why we buy waterproof radios. And waterproof impacts. Yeah, waterproof. Oh, God, I had to pour like three cups of water out of my impact bag. Uh, fortunately, DeWalt makes a pretty good tool that survived that. <laughs> you know, it's worth a shot. Uh, so my math is that we've got uh, 50 feet to the water horizon, if you call it that. Uh, 50 feet, assuming a, a 10 inch dec or 10 foot decline height and a 20% average grade, which gives us uh, 500 cubic feet or 3,500 gallons per vertical foot in the decline at 20%. And currently we're discharging about 2,400 gallons an hour. So we're gonna do a little bit less than a foot an hour, which isn't bad. That's really not bad at all. We got something like a, a one gallon of diesel for every 500 gallons of water or something like that. You know, this is already starting to noticeably drop in the, in the decline. That's what that uh, approximately 50 gallons a minute looks like. This is uh, cycling the pump 25 times a minute. It's about uh, two and a half, two gallons a cycle. Yeah, about 50. You know, there's going to be some fuzzy math in all of this. We're hoping to wash some of the silt out of that culvert. It's partially plugged. We'll eventually have to get a booster pump up here and hydroblast it. I'm not really looking forward to that job. I don't know the, the size of some of the stuff that's in there, and then once that's done, you ought to put a, like a six inch minus rebar screen on each of them to prevent it from recurring.
we've got both diaphragm pumps tied in. Gail said over the radio it's pumping faster than she's ever seen it. After uh, adjusting some things on the pump exhaust, we had 60 gallons a minute single pumping or double pumping. I think there's going to be some efficiency loss with uh, uh, turbulent flow at the, the, or the discharge splitter. But we still might be getting 100 gallons a minute out of here. It's uh, 6,000 gallons an hour. We're really fighting this water. Because that remuck day, I'm pretty sure there's a fracture zone back in there that's holding a lot of water. You can see that the back in there and the face is damp. Occasionally you see uh, water droplets fall from the back down into the, the water back behind that muck pile. So what I think we're trying to do is drain, uh, drain that fracture zone and we're pumping it essentially because as soon as we uh, as soon as we pull water out of the decline, water from the fractured zone flows down into the decline. So essentially we're pumping down that uh, that fractured zone, that water course at uh, we're pumping that down before we pump the decline down. This is our uh, little one inch pump. We're pumping from that flooded muck bay, which is below grade that I can cut out here. We're pumping from there into the decline and then pumping out of the decline with the, the double two inch. You see, uh, that back up in there, that's our water ingress point. So that's what we're fighting. We got half a mind to put some jack leg long holes exploratorily back in there after we get it pumped out some. Because the, the country rock around here doesn't pass water like that. That only happens along veins. So there is a vein back there. and Well, if there's a vein back there, then we want to sample it.